So, man, after we finally got to see Kawaki in action, and it got me thinking of how the situation with Boruto and Naruto and the rest of the cast is going to sort of impact the future events in the story. And, you know, I kind of want to dive deeper into how does this Shinobi system actually crumble? You know, based on the future time skip, Kawaki saying things like the Shinobi system is over and Boruto saying that, hey, the Shinobi system isn't exactly over yet. And, you know, I'm still here. So I think that this whole Shinobi system crumbling actually just started now with the death of Boruto. Now, the reason why I say that is because I believe the death of Boruto is sort of a turning point in Kawaki's character to where he has sort of like a change in thinking almost because we know that Kawaki's doing everything for Naruto. He's doing what he can in order to protect Naruto. And there's even somewhere that he even sends Naruto or does something to Naruto in order to protect him further. And we know that he would go to the extents of even removing Naruto from his own village, potentially, whether that was him being placed somewhere or something along those lines in order to protect them. And now kind of where I'm getting at this with the whole Boruto Zeph is right is because the moment that Kawaki killed Boruto is the moment that the whole entire world changed forever. Now, what I mean by that is because Boruto dying means that now Kawaki, who was potentially good with the five Kage, maybe the five Kage had their doubts about if Kawaki was necessarily still a threat but if you guys remember when naruto originally introduced kawaki to the five kage he said that he would be under his control and that kawaki would be kept on the wraps now that kawaki has killed boruto this changes it up completely and i briefly talked about this a little bit in another video where we talked about boruto's death and how that impacted everybody but if the five kage meet up again and naruto explains to them that hey kawaki just killed boruto they're going to definitely think that Kawaki is definitely getting out of hand and he has his karma still again and this is going to cause issues in the future because he's acting sort of irrationally and if killing Boruto was not a way to revive him right now then I could definitely see the five Kage being very upset with Naruto and even Kawaki and saying hey Kawaki has to go he can't just have this OP little mini Ashiki running around and sort of doing as he pleases because he thinks he needs to protect you and I think this is when it starts to crumble because obviously Kawaki's not gonna have any of that and I think any attempts to contain Kawaki or even end Kawaki's life is going to be responded back with violence. Kawaki is definitely not going to stand down and Kawaki's going to do whatever he can do in his power to protect Naruto and do what he thinks is the right thing. So Boruto dying is probably going to change just how all the other nations view Kawaki. And I think there's going to be some sort of event that's going to involve the five Kage where Kawaki is going to go ahead and say, hey, I'm just going to go ahead and just get rid of the whole shinobi system the system is broken the system is the major reason to why i'm here and major reason to why a lot of people outside of the five great nations were messed up and were you know affected by you know past events and even to bring it back i talked about kawaki's father way way long ago but even kawaki's father and how the shinobi system sort of messed him up right so if you don't know kawaki's father was in the fourth great ninja war and he got very messed up by it. I believe he was affected by the infinite Tsukiyomi. And if you know that there was a lot of people that during that time, when they were under the effects of the infinite Tsukiyomi, when they got out of it, you know, hit this sort of phase to where they saw that perfect life and now they got taken away from them. And you can imagine just the mental damage that would have done to a lot of people. Now here goes Kawaki's father, who used to be a great ninja, now an alcoholic, sitting at home beating his child, right? So I can definitely see how Kawaki could blame the shinobi system on things like that. Things like ruining his childhood, ruining his upbringing. I mean, and because of just how badly Kawaki's father is treating him, you know, Kawaki ended up in Jigen's hands and there's a whole little spiral we can do with just how like that war in particular sort of messed up things. Now that war was because of different reasons, but you know, that war definitely did mess up Kawaki's father and is a little bit of the reason to why Kawaki's even here right now. But I could definitely see how Kawaki would want to get rid of the shinobi system because of all the flaws that it has. And I mean, you know, not too long ago, we we're having kids go to war and, you know, in the present day, I think Naruto has done a lot for the shinobi system in order to get it to the point it is right now. There is some sort of peace between the five great nations and there's some sort of talks going on to make sure that 
people aren't dying like that but there's still these underlying problems that naruto himself can't fix i mean there's these other villages these other smaller villages that are still having problems that aren't necessarily a part of the five great nations that you know naruto even though he's tried his best he still can't fix every single little problem in the world and we've seen this in kawaki's backstory to where kawaki almost got sold to another trafficker during I want to say post fourth great ninja war so even though these problems like that might not be a thing in like the five great nations these things are still happening outside the village so the whole shinobi system is a mess you know i think that i can definitely see kawaki wanting to go ahead and just get rid of the whole thing entirely and rebuild it anew and i think that's going to stem from the response he gets from the other nations knowing of his presence and just sort of how these other five great nations handle the whole Kawaki situation. And I think that Kawaki decides to do this and he decides to start in the Hidden Leaf Village. I think this is where episode one of the Boruto timescape is sort of taking place, is where Kawaki decides that I'm going to end the Shinobi system and I'm going to start here with the Hidden Leaf Village. And we've seen what Kawaki was able to do against Boroshiki. And I could definitely see that Kawaki, if he manages to get stronger and manages to learn how to use his Dojutsu better, could do some serious damage to the Hidden Leaf Village. And there's going to be a point to where he somehow sends Naruto somewhere, so Naruto's not really gonna interfere with what he's doing. And I think that Kawaki's plan is to sort of start in the Hidden Leaf Village, destroy it down and build it back anew, and then maybe go to some of the other villages as well. I think that at that point in the story in episode one is where he's sort of starting off. And that's when Boruto sort of pops up and tries to stop Kawaki. That's where I can kind of see it going with the whole thing where Boruto saying that he's still a ninja and Kawaki saying that the age of Shinobi is over. Now, I think Amado has something to do with Kawaki's reasonings as well to why he would want to end the Shinobi system. I think the Shinobi system is another direct correlation to what happened to Amado's daughter. Now, if you don't remember, Amado's daughter apparently died, I believe, around 12 years ago, and they didn't really expand into it that much, but I think that there was something with the Shinobi system where Amado's daughter was a direct casualty, and I can see that if Amado's daughter was a casualty of the shinobi system and amado feels some sort of way that he wants to redo the world redo the whole system i can see amado sort of tricking kawaki or sort of putting words into kawaki's head and sort of manipulating him to saying hey i think that the shinobi system needs to come down and we haven't really gotten what amado's true intentions are but it's something tells me that amado's intentions have something to do with the shinobi system and kind of kawaki is going to be a major part in breaking that down because even if amado isn't destroying person right and maybe maybe Amado isn't super powerful but if Amado is able to manipulate someone like Kawaki to do his bidding and end the shinobi system and sort of manipulate him and bring up these past examples to where Kawaki was directly affected then I can definitely see how after Boruto dying and after all these events happening to where Kawaki decides that the shinobi system needs to end and Amado sort of plays into that and manipulates Kawaki to do just that. So yeah, that's kind of my thoughts about the whole post time skip thing to where we're seeing Kawaki potentially start the beginning of the end of the Shinobi system. And I kind of think that Amado is going to be looped into the whole thing as well. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about Kawaki and the Shinobi system after Boruto's death. And how do you think the five Kage are going to interact with Kawaki once they get news of Boruto's death as well? Anyways, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you join the Discord. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Sing. 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 Sing.